This is a print that was printed with flushing volumes at default values and auto calculated by Bamboo Studio. So flushing volume multiplier of 1.0 and this is all the waste that it produced. This print was printed with 0% flushing volumes, so a multiplier of 0.0, .0 and this is all the waste that it produced. So let's walk our way from this print down to this print and see if we can find a happy medium. All right, with a one times multiplier, which is the defaults, we have 81.9 grams of flushed filament. Bamboo Studio says we should have had 101.13 grams total with the tower and the part itself. We're at 101.0, that's pretty close. All right, so now we're at 0 0.5 flushing volumes. Really can't tell the difference from the one times multiplier. This is the 0 0.5 on the left and the one on the right. Pretty similar. And we've got 43 grams of purge filament. And we're coming to 62 grams total when Bamboo Studio told us we should be at 61.73. Again, pretty dang close. Now we're down to 0 0.25 uh, flushing volume multiplier. Bamboo Studios told us that we should be at 45.58 grams total. We have 27.7 grams of flushed filament, and our total here is 46.8. And the quality we're still looking pretty good. This is compared to the one times 0 0.25. Now we're down to 0 0.1 on the flushing volumes. Uh, something interesting happens when you start to get down into these lower multiples. Uh, as of 0 0.15 and lower, um, the total mass that it says you should be producing is 43.47, uh, and it doesn't get any smaller the lower you go. So I printed at 0 0.1 uh, for this one, but I could have been at 0 0.15. I could have been at 0 0.05. Uh, or again, what I actually did, which was 0 0.1, they all would have been the same, according to Bamboo Studio. And they're saying that we've got 25.7 grams of wasted filament here, and a total weight of 44.9. So our actual is equal to 44.9. And we can do a quality check on these colors. Here's the 0 0.1 multiplier print. Versus the default one volume multiplier. A little, little artifact there on the 0 0.1, maybe a little bit of extra stringing but barely. Colors still look super sharp. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And that brings us to one of our last tests, a 0, 0.00 flushing multiplier. Uh, we have 3.8 grams on the scale of wasted filament. 
but our results are definitely uh, lackluster to say the least. You just have a ton of bleed and just wrong colors entirely really. Makes for a pretty funky effect compared to the, uh, this is the 0 0.1, so really a huge difference in quality there. Let's see what our final weight was on these guys. We have 23 grams versus the 21.15. Bamboo Studio told us we would get. So main takeaways for these, uh, anything below 0 0.15 is gonna be the same, uh, all, except for when you get down to zero, then it really puts it at zero and everything bleeds together. Um, so if you wanna find something that works good for you, I would start at 0 0.15. Uh, or somewhere in that range, and if there's a little bit of bleed, then I would work my way up from there. But it appears to be like they are, they they tend to be on the safe side at Bamboo Studios and Bamboo Labs. I think they really uh, optimized for quality, uh, which is fine. Um, they really wanted to make the, the printing process as, as painless as they could. Um, and have the highest quality right out of the box. Um, but if you want to reduce the amount of waste that you're producing, I would definitely look at moving to a 0.1 or 0.15 um, flushing multiplier. And uh, one last thing that we can look at is flushing into objects. So this is the last scenario we're gonna look at. It's uh, 0 0.25 flushing volumes uh, with this print and you can see the quality is pretty close to all the other prints we had today. The only thing that changed is we added these flushing objects. So the prime tower is the same as before, um, 0 0.25 flushing volumes, but we've told Bamboo Studio uh, and the X1 Carbon to flush as much filament as it can into these two objects on every color change instead of trying to put it all out the back. So we ended up with 19.4 grams of wasted filament out the back and that's roughly seven grams less purge filament than on our 0 0.25 without the flush objects. Each one of these is about seven grams. So I have this on here, 27.1. That brings us pretty close to what our waste was overall on just the 0 0.25. So on this print, we printed seven grams more than the 0 0.25 alone, but we did end up with two extra objects um, for that trade-off. I still needed to do some extra testing with flush objects to dial these in. Uh, I think part of it is the, if this geometry were thicker all the way up, there would have been less, even less material gone out the back. But since this is a cone and it gets smaller and smaller, there's less and less area for it to purge. And these take up less and less filament as they go up. So more and more has to go out the back each layer. At least that's my, my hypothesis here. Um, but be sure to let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more tests done with these flush objects, um, just to dial that in. Uh, but for now, uh, hope you like the video and I'll see you in the next one.